Burkina Faso's Ibrahim Touré seized power in a military coup in 2022, becoming the youngest leader in the war. Captain Ibrahim Touré assumed office as Burkina Faso's president after the removal of Paul Harry Demiba through a military coup in September 2022. Ibrahim Touré is the Burkina Faso's president today, courtesy of the two coups in under nine months, January and September 2022. He became the world's youngest head of state in September when he and other junior military officers ousted Lieutenant Colonel Paul Harry Demiba, who had also ascended to the presidency through a coup in January 2022. Justifying why they were removing Demiba from office, Tore said in a televised address on October 1st, 2022, that the embattled head of state had failed to tackle the perennial problem of insurgency. Demiba had been ousted by Tory, who was seven years in Genio and two positions lower than him in the military chain of command. In today's edition, we look at the rise and rise of the Ibrahim Tory and the secret behind why he is always in the news. Captain Ibrahim Torre is three ranks away from the pinnacle of the military command structure in Burkina Faso. In the military hierarchy, Torre is in the rank of captain. There are three ranks above that of captain. They are commandant, lieutenant colonel, and colonel respectively. Being a former French colony, Burkina Faso adopted France military command structure. Whereas many people describe Theoris' rise as meteoric, within the military cycles, his rise to the power was just around the corner. After serving a relatively junior position in Burkina Faso's military, Theoris' major strike came in 2014 when he was deployed to Mali as a soldier under the United Nations Peacekeeping Missions Program. Soldiers within the Burkina Faso military said during his deployment to Mali, Tuare showed bravery. Age 26 at that time, Tuare overcame a conflict attack by militant extremists in the northern Timbuktu region. Ibrahim Tuare is said to have exhibited leadership skills from his younger days. Tuare, who was lieutenant at that time, exhibited leadership attributes, including being willful, courageous, and close to his men. Besides assignment in Mali, Tuare also featured prominently in the fight against insurgency in his native Burkina Faso between 2019 and 2022. He was promoted to the rank of captain in 2020. Shortly after staging a coup against the Miba's administration in September 2022, Tuarez acknowledged that his age will be a subject of discussion among those questioning his presidential credentials. He said in court, I know that I am younger than most of you here. We did not want what happened, but we did not have a choice. And of course, the international shine on him appeared to have faded until July 2023, when he accompanied 16 other African head of states to Russia for a meeting with President Vladimir Putin, who had organized a Russia-Africa summit. Ibrahim Torre dresses in military gear in most public appearances. His fellow presidents dress in their characteristic custom tailor, expensive suits, but Torre, who is slightly above six feet in height, show up in military combat clothing, complete with a red barrette and tactical gloves. 
while walking past the security officers who were saluting the arrival head of state at the summit venue, Tore was one of the few, if not only the visiting president, who saluted back. If that did not appeal to the world's optics, his muscular physics and unique presence, even in Putin's proximity, did when he paused for a photograph with the Russian leader. The saluting, the picture with Putin and the dress code earned him the attention. But his speech during the Russian-African summit held between July 27 and 28 earned him claudits. He said in the summit, quote, the problem is seeing African heads of state who bring nothing to people who are struggling, singing the same song as the imperialists who call us militia. As a result, they end up repairing to us as people who do not respect human rights. We African heads of state must stop acting like marionettes who dance each time the imperialists pull on our strings. Torre went ahead to blast African presidents who are happy to receive free visas. Yesterday, President Vladimir Putin announced that grain will be shipped to Africa. This is pleasing and we say thank for this. However, this is also a message to our African head of states. At the next forum, we must not come here without having ensured the self-sufficiency of food supply for our people. We must learn from the experience of those who have succeeded in achieving this. And of course, his remarks were likened to those made in the early 1980s by the revered Thomas Sankara, who just like Tory, ascends to Burkina Faso's presidency through coup. Thomas Sankara, a revolutionary Burkina Faso president, was assassinated on October 15, 1987. On October 4, 1984, Sankara, in an equally major international platform, the United Nations General Assembly, said, quote, Our economic ambition is to use the strength of people of Burkina Faso to provide for all two meals a day and drinking water and of course on social media Tore has been referred to as Sankara incarnate amid major famine in West Africa that had ravaged Burkina Faso Mali Chad and Niger in the early 1980s Sankara staged a coup against the French leadership in Burkina Faso on August 4, 1983. The Pan-African revolutionary will go ahead to win the hearts of many citizens of Burkina Faso by introducing measures to address foreign debt and extreme hunger that had caused excessive suffering. Whereas hunger remains one of the Burkina Faso's main challenges today, insecurity is even a bigger problem. Torre has fledged to fight extremist violence and has called for support from new allies, including Russia. He said his soldiers need training, equipment, and intelligent gathering to up their game against the militant extremists. We hope to see Torre succeed before he handed over the power to the civilian authorities by July 2024, as he promised. If you found this edition educative, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel.